Hey everybody, welcome to the Journey Church Online Ministry. Hey, we're so glad you're here. And you know, the reason that we really love our online ministry is that we want you to find ways to draw closer to Jesus. Now, here's the thing about that. In order to really, really follow Jesus, you cannot do it alone. There is no discipleship without relationship. Uh, just think about it. We are, as a faith, saying we want to be in a relationship with God because of what Jesus has done. He lived, He died, He rose. He lives now and reigns with God as God. Now, if that's the truth, what does He want from us? He wants us to be in community. Jesus prayed for the community of believers to be in unity with each other. So, for uh, two weeks, last week and this week, We've been holding something at the Journey Church called Community Open House. And here's what we're challenging everybody to do, to get involved in community. Now, if you're watching this and you're somewhere not in the southeastern part of Virginia, uh, I can't encourage you enough to be part of a community of believers where you are. Also, if you're in a community of believers, I can't encourage you enough to be in a group of some kind, whether it's Sunday school where you're at. But here at the Journey Church, we have journey groups. Group life is important. And so what we're doing today is we're going to hear stories of people who participate in journey groups and why it's important to them. So here's what's imperative. Look, download the JC app. Download the JC app and you will find there a link to all our journey group offerings that we have online and in person. I'm hoping that you'll do that. And then I'm, I'm hoping that you'll be blessed. We're going to have a time of worship in music. Then I want you to hear the stories, the testimonials, if you will, of people who participate in group life and why it's important to them. So I'm praying that God speaks to you. I'm praying that you are called to be present with others because there is no discipleship without relationship. It's crucial that we follow Jesus with other believers. Having said that, look, I'm, I'm praying God blesses you. Let's get started. Oh 
there, friends. Welcome to The Journey Church. My name is Lorna Owens, and I've been connected to The Journey Church for about over four years now. I also serve on the creative arts team as a church photographer, and I'm also on the events team. Um, I've been a part of about five different journey groups throughout my time at The Journey Church. Um, I'm so incredibly blessed by all the relationships that I've made throughout my time in these groups and continue in these groups. Um, I love doing life with these people. Um, they see me at my worst and they see me at my best. I couldn't imagine being anywhere else. Um, so this is my story of how I became a, a member of a journey group. Um, I was going to another church at the time when I first heard about Journey Church. Um, I came one Sunday and I thought what an amazing community and what an amazing pastor. Um, that same Sunday, I met Caitlin Laxon, and she was super sweet and super kind, and I just knew that we were going to be really good friends. Um, we kept in touch over social media, and as I was going to another church, um, a few months went by, and I was looking for a young adult group, and because at the time, the church that I was going to didn't have a young adult population, and... Um, I get a message notification from Caitlin Laxon saying, hey, my husband and I lead a young adult group on this night. We would love to have you come. And the moment that I walked into that house, I felt like I'd been a part of that group the whole time. They were just so sweet and so kind. Those people are now some of my closest friends. We did life with one another. We saw each other go through losses, trials, ups and downs and so much joy during that time. Uh, God created us to do life together. Um, I had been searching for this kind of community and fellowship, and it was right in front of me. Um, it may, was made up of young adults that were married or in a relationship. Um, I was the only single person in the group, and sometimes you think you would be ostracized by that, but no. They took me under their wing, and they were so encouraging, and still are so encouraging. I found my sense of community at the Journey Church. I'm so eternally grateful for all that God has blessed me with and putting me on the path of such amazing people at the Journey Church. It was a breath of fresh air because I was able to see an example of a godly relationship and marriage. I could also go to them for advice, just able to talk to them just like I'm talking to my friends. Um, also, I get to be the honorary auntie for all the kiddos at the Journey Church, which is a lot of fun. Um, community groups are so much fun. They promote love, and it brings us closer to God. Um, one of the best examples of community is shown in the book of Acts about the early church. Um, Acts 2, verses 42 through 47 says, They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with the awe of many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily to those who were being saved. I know it can be hard for people uh, to step out of their comfort zone and find that community, but it is so worth it because in the long run, when we grow in relationships with others, we're growing in a relationship with him. So I highly recommend you joining a journey group. If you have any questions, go find a journey group, journey group leader or go talk to Nate. Um, come join us. We would love to have you. And Thank you all so much for listening to my story. So we have been in a bunch of groups and a, def a bunch of different churches, but the story I want to tell you is it starts in November of 2020. Um, in November 2020, I had a heart attack, and I was spent probably like two weeks in the hospital. And uh, prior to that, our fence got blown down in a storm. And uh, so... We had all the stuff to buy the to fix the fence, but that's when I had a heart attack. And Melinda, she uh, didn't want me to put the fence on. Well, actually, the group, 
our life group reached out to me to see what they can do for us. And um, I am actually not one to ask or accept help. I'm not, I don't ask for help and I have a hard time accepting help. But I knew that my choices were either um, accept help or Chris was going to get out of the hospital and put this fence up because I knew that that's what he was going to do. So um, when we got the call, I believe it was Nate, and um, I said, well, we have these this material and we need some fence posts and some parts of a fence put up. Do you have anyone that can help? And our group came together. I think they were there probably the next day. And um, we had the fence put up. And um, in addition, when you did get out of the hospital. Yeah, the fence was put up and they brought me food. And not just my group, all the groups, somebody from all the groups gave me food and made having a heart attack a lot better. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Sal. And I'm Michelle. And I'm Aaron. hi. And we're here to share with you our journey with Journey Church Bible Study. Mm -hmm. And I'll first share here, I am really pleased with how it has brought our family closer together <coughs> and being able to gather together, not just for church on Sundays, but during the week on Wednesdays for our Bible study. It allows us to get connected with God more than once as a family throughout the week. And to also experience other families and to be able to share with them and then share with us uh, life. And to be able to pray for one another, to learn about the Bible, um, and to see how the Bible translates into our life and can help us to make each one of us better people. Michelle? Yeah, to um, go with what Sal said, um, family, I really feel like our group, our journey group um, with our Bible study is like an extended family now. And we really have a great a relationship with everyone. Um, everyone has their kids there. It's just a, a really, um, sort of like our own little community and it's been it's really been a blessing for us as a whole and also to touch on what Sal mentioned about the Bible I've learned so much within our group and it's been just a great experience all around and I look forward to Wednesday nights um, and our community our um, our group so we can share and share our experiences and and prayer and um, our life experiences. Erin? I don't know. I mean, it's okay. I mean, you can play with other kids, I guess. But, I mean, usually I just bring, like, my iPad or something to occupy myself. And usually other pe people see it, and then they want to come play with me, and I let them and me play together. And also, sometimes we get subway after or go to any restaurant, like Chick-fil-A or something like that. And that's our experience with Journey Groups. And we hope that you one day get the opportunity to experience Journey Groups as well. Thank you and God bless. Nate asked me to share a little bit about small groups and my take on them and what it means to me. Um, I'm going to tell a story which my small groups have heard this before, but this happened probably 10, 15 years ago. Uh, I was in a great small group. We were having great fellowship. We'd have a meal together. We would talk about scripture. We'd share scripture, what it meant to us. We were just, man, we were just on fire, I thought. And then one day, Nate gave me a book to read about small groups and I, as I read this book it talked about everything we were doing right. I said, oh man, this is sounding good. And then it stated, if you're doing all of these things, you're not having a good small group. And it just blew me away. And then the next sentence, 
he, this author said, I wish I could remember his name, said, if you're not authentic in your small groups, you're not a small group. And I started sharing that story with our small group. I said, we, we need to find a way of doing just that, being authentic. And I know we'll forget, and it changed my life. And, it, and I dare say it changed every member of our small group. We had a lady uh, in our group, uh, and she called me. She says, Woody, I want my small group to meet me at the church. I got something I need to share with you, and I want you guys to pray for me. And that, I was just took back from it. But we called all the members of our small group. I think everyone showed up at our church, and we and we sat at the at the foot of the altar, and we were there for about an hour. And she shared her issue, her problem, which I won't go into that. But uh, we all prayed for her. We all talked with her. She she just opened her heart about what was troubling her. And I'll never forget that day as long as I live. And every small group that I've been in since then, I, I've actually shared that story of how this one person stepped out on faith to, to share something that was hard for her to share. But she opened up to us, she was authentic with us, and uh, it changed all of our lives. And what a difference it made in our small group after that. And it's, and it's happened to me since then in, in a small group at Journey. But uh, if you're in a small group, I, and if you're watching this video, one thing I would say is be authentic in your group. God put you there for a reason. And it may be to share something that's troubling your heart that you need help with. And God can help, but he, he puts you us to get, he put all of us here to have a relationship. And uh, so use that time in small group to, to do just that. I want to encourage you to think about belonging to a group. Now, there are different size groups, of course, when we're talking about human interaction. There are large public groups, which is what we do on Sunday morning, our Sunday morning worship gathering. And then there are personal groups that can be anywhere from six to 15 people, depending on what the group is doing. And we call these journey groups here at the Journey Church. And the reason we want to really focus on that is because it allows us to share more intimately our lives together. You know, when you're meeting with people on a regular basis, when you're sharing life, when you're eating together, when you're, when you're playing together, when you're talking together, when you're learning about what one person is going through, when you're praying for that person, Man, God moves in powerful waves, and we grow, we grow when that happens. I, I can't encourage you enough. If you're in southeastern Virginia and you would like to be a part of our, our campus's group life, contact us using the JC app group button, and let's get you connected. Now, we have a couple of online options that we can also make available to you. But even if you don't do that, please become part of a group in a community of believers somehow. You heard Lorna talk about how she was going to one church and the option we had just worked out for her. That's great. Maybe that happens to you. I, I, don't, I don't mind. I just pray that you will follow Jesus. And by having that, that interpersonal connection that haps, happens in groups that size, God can use that to grow you. So let me encourage you, the JC app has a group button. We can help you. And no matter what, please be involved with a group, Sunday school in some churches, but group life somewhere. It'll help you follow Jesus. It'll help you grow. It'll be an encouragement to you. May you be blessed by being in a community of believers like that, both in the large scale and in the small scale. May you know that God is wanting you to be a blessing to others, and may you be sent to do just that. Go and be present with others in Jesus' name. See you next week.